let's take a look at your Caribbean report for tonight. A serving military officer and his wife and former military army reserve were formally charged with treason in Guyana on Tuesday. Major Bruce Monroe, his wife Carol Ann Monroe, who is a former soldier and former reserve Lieutenant Colonel Leonard Watherton, faced the death penalty by hanging if found guilty. Under the charges read out in court, police claim that between December the 1st, 2009 and December 18th, 2010, the trio plotted to level war within Guyana to force President Barat Chideo out of office in order to compel the government to change its policies. State media have linked the charges to a series of violent incidents, including a gun attack on a major police station and attempted arson at the Supreme Court building. Officials said this was the first time a woman has ever been charged in Guyana with treason. The defendants were ordered to remain in custody until January the 7th. Defense lawyer Reginald Gaskin told the court that there was not enough evidence to convict his clients of treason. And a U.S. man has been detained after ammunition parts in his luggage exploded and was thought to have been heading for Jamaica. The explosion occurred as the baggage handlers were moving the luggage of the 37-year-old man from one plane to another at the Miami airport. Local media said that the passenger and his luggage had already flown from Boston to Miami and were headed for Jamaica. The man, who is not being named, is charged with traveling without a license to carry ammunition. And that's your Caribbean report for tonight. And it's time to get an update on several petitions that will be available for the public. News Channel 8's Wes Small has more. Thanks a lot, Jerome. Here with Shalima Edwards. And uh, we're going to get caught up on all the union activities. Been at least a couple of months since we've talked to Obalu Representative Bridget, right? That That's was, right, yeah, right. So now you've got an update for your union members. Happy New Year. Well, same to you and everyone. And in continuation with where you left off with Miss Peter, Bridget, uh, regarding the people's agenda in which Obalu was one of the organizations that facilitated those town meetings. What came out of it, um, West Smalls and everyone, is that there are petitions in which the people of the Virgin Islands could actually sign on. And I'll just be brief as far as one of the petitions, and then I'll go to um, one of the major ones. Mm -hmm. The first one is the paper ballot. As you know, there are several issues concerning um, people who wanted to use the paper ballot at the last election, general election, and was unable to do so. They went through a lot of um, tribulations regarding that. So in preparation for the upcoming 29th legislature, this petition is requesting that the paper ballot be placed or amended in the law so that for the next 2012 election, we won't have any harassment at all. So the petition for the paper ballot can will be available for the people on St. Croix, especially at several locations and even individuals. You can find it here at Yuka's Kitchen, down here in West, mm -hmm. Cinderella Dress Shop, Seagull, Donna Picard, Miss Blackman in Windsor Light, and the Roaring Lioness, and you can contact the Roaring Lioness, who is um, responsible for the petition, at 690-9412. And we're encouraging the residents, especially the communities, um, you know, to get involved. And if you want petitions in your communities, you can contact me at 6437599 or Kendall Siegel Peterson, who also have those petitions available. And you can contact him at 998-6512. All right, that's a lot. Shalima Joseph, Happy New Year. You've learned about a few things there, the petitions. Happy New Year. Congratulations to the hard-fighting uh, rebels and your union. You know, just keep up the fight. I know it's hard, it's uphill, but we need you to keep fighting, sis. And that's why we're at Butto Park, Freedom City. With that, Happy New Year to you and your family and your entire, all your union people. You just keep on fighting, okay? Be proactive and be safe. There you go. I'm Wes Small for News Channel 8. And for the first time, there'll be a float for the children with Down syndromes for the annual Children's Day Parade. Here's Wes with more. Thanks a lot, Jerome. I am with Empress Rebecca Russell. Yes, and we're with royalty once again. You're talking about MJM Co. Discovery Code. Discovery Code. Yes. And it's for the kids, and y'all have been trying to get funding for your first float. Yes, we are. MGM Discovery Code 
it stands for Melchia J, J. Mombelli, which is my son. He has Down syndrome. We advocate for individuals with Down syndrome. So this year, what we decided to do is enter a float in the Children's Festival for special need children. Oh, that so they is would have wonderful. fun too. Yep, and so we look forward to seeing that on Parade Day for the Children's Parade. Mm -hmm. So we understand that it's just getting built right now as we speak, and yes. you want to thank some people and some organizations or what? Um, the float was donated to us by Rigadens, so we're in the process of refurbishing it, and then we'll be decorating it. Um, the theme this year is Birds of Paradise. Why? Because we had a young lady named Robin Bechu passed away a few years of Down syndrome, so we're dedicating the first float to her and her family. And if anybody would like more information, they can call me at 692-1602. 692-1602. All right, Miss Rebecca Russell. But thank you very much, okay? And we thank look you. forward to that. All right, then an early happy Three Kings Day. And isn't that wonderful that Miss Rebecca uh, Russell has that organization and they've got um, a lot of help and participants. We look forward to seeing the kids at the Discovery Co. float. That's cool. Thank you. I bet it's going to be very colorful. Hope y'all win something. You never know. Well, the purpose is inclusion, not to compete. We have to keep that in mind, inclusion. We have to make inclusion a reality. Okay. All right, there you go. Don't forget to include me. I've always been taught to beat the competition up. That's all right. May the best float win. I'm Wes Small for News Channel 8. And congratulations to all those kids and that parade. When we come back from this break, we'll take a look at what else is happening this weekend in your entertainment report with BOGO. Stay with us. Well, it is Thursday, but we're going to check in with Bogo because he's got your weekend entertainment report early this week. Thank you very much, Jerome. Good evening to everyone. Welcome to the final edition of the Entertainment Report for 2010, moving into 2011. All right, here what's going on. You're looking some place where you know definitely Friday nights. It's always at H2O. You got the Mad Ross Terrace, you got DJ Fuzzy, and you never know who else is going to be in the building. But I'm going to tell you about the same night, Friday night, at Club Sincere. It's an old lays bashman. And of course, you know, they are bringing in the new year with Daddy Babsy as he celebrates his one year anniversary of being on 103.5 FM. Also, on the card will be Dan Dada Sounds. Daddy Babsy himself will be there. And Redman from Tech Nine Sounds. He'll be there playing tunes for you, of course. And of course, the ladies, champagne for you free all night. Guys, do not wear no t shirts and sharp pants and come to the dance. Then I'll let you in. Dress appropriately. Wear a shirt with a color. Go out and buy a nice shirt. You know what I'm saying? So definitely check that out. And then we move to St. Thomas, and that's on Saturday, the 1st of January at the Hush Night Club. They bring to you the first big dance of the year, featuring out of Antigua, Onion, and the Burning Flames. It's just $20 to get you in. Remember, this one is power driven by Interscope Security and Hush Night Club. Go and check it out January 1st, Onion and Burning Flames. And then we're going to tell you about the Sunday Night Lime at 2 plus 2. You know you got to go and check that one out. It's going to be good. DJ Carl, Big Cat Sounds, and also Selector Cuff. And trust me, there's going to be a special on the card for you. So please go on out and support it. And I'm just going to tell you about at Island Center, Tuesday, January 4th, 8 p.m. sharp. It's a Cruzian Christmas Festival, Calypso Monarch Finals featuring King Generic. Lord Governor is the Mighty Pat, Gemma, Spade, Mana, King Kong for Plenty, Thunder, Llewellyn, and Lady Peaches. $25 for the reserve seats, $20 general seating. Our music will be provided by the world famous Express Band, and I will be your MC for the night. I'm going to make you laugh, so please come on out. And then, of course, we're going to tell you the big jam. You've been waiting for it. It's called Twin Star Promotion Brings to You. Island Spice Jam, featuring the 17 plus band with their 25th year anniversary. You got to check that out. Also, there to compliment them would be Daddy Jones and crew with Pumpa, Jamal, and also Chantel. So, you definitely got to go and check that out. Terrence C, the Madras, Double Impact Sound with Will and Sniper, $200 for the best, shortest, shortest, short pants. All right. So please go on out and support these events. And I want to thank you for joining me here on the Entertainment Report. 
have a safe, blessed, and prosperous New Year from the entire staff here at WSBI TV Channel 8. If you drink, just don't drive. Back to you, Jerome.